two six. We did not start. Well, they're taking shoot, move, and communicate uh, to the next man. level. Yeah, man. <laughs> he is flagging the hell out of him right there, but <laughs> there is a lot of communication going on, and that's yeah. Cool. It's a little bit more updated from the last first person shooter game I played, which was 007 Goldeneye. <laughs> Jeez, they're burning him alive? Wow. <laughs> Just in case, all right? Fair enough. Fair enough. They could get back up. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Total Recoil, where we're featuring weapons and equipment from some of your favorite video games. I'm Israel Wright, one half of the Pop Culture Field Manual podcast, and with me today, very special guest, Green Beret friend, all-around good guy, Nate Boyer. Nate, how you doing? Most of that is not true. Uh, <laughs> the Green Beret part's true. Uh, Nate Boyer, Army Special Forces, Texas Longhorn, Seattle Seahawk, uh, also the friend of Israel Wright. Is That's true. right, we are friends. It's great to have you. Now today, Nate, we're going to be looking at some milsim games, military simulator games, games that kind of step away from the kind of fast-paced action shooter games like Call of Duty. These ones endeavor to give you kind of a realistic military experience. They emphasize cooperation, uh, the action, maybe the movements of the players and stuff is a little bit slower, but uh, it's for those that want to kind of try to get that realistic military experience. I wonder if that would draw more people to actually join the military or do the opposite. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Let's take a look. All right, first one up, Insurgency Sandstorm. I'll push first. I love the peeking side. Got it, got it. Flashbang. <laughs> so are these the video game voices? No, these are guys actually talking to each other okay. in the video game as they that play. That makes way more sense. Yeah. I was like, these don't feel like actors. It feels very <laughs> real, which is cool. Yeah. The pine off the corners, notice the tech league and stuff like this that. This is like a Leroy Jenkins moment could happen at any time. Yeah. <laughs> Just running in there. Oh, you didn't check your corner. I will say that. <laughs> oh, I didn't check that corner right there. Like, obviously, they have a vocabulary. They have an SOP. They've done this before. You can tell that they, they're working together as a team, and it's within the context of a video game. Do they have, do the games, they have scenarios where it's different every time as far as you go through the same space, but it's never it's never re replicated, like, where are the enemies coming from? Or something? Well, no, I mean, yeah. Whether it's an AI or a real-life opposing force and stuff, yeah, they could take different positions. They could meet at different points along the way within the level. Right. They don't necessarily have to be in this building per se. And then you can go into villages, open fields, mountains. I just meant if you went back in this room, mm -hmm. could the enemy could be in completely different yes. places than before. Absolutely, yep. Then, yeah. then this, this guy's not checking what he needs to check. <laughs> You're right, saying. man. That's You're right. <laughs> I have eyes on target. Alpha, five Roger. meters out. Push him in. So we got a little cache here. Planting bomb, five seconds. Roger. Three, two, one. <laughs> Are they under a strict time limit here? Some of the missions could have like be like time sensitive. It looked like this one was just a SOP of communication counting down all your stuff. Right. Contact two down. I like how he's got the, the rifle cannon there though. That's realistic. That's cool. You know, you're leaning against a wall like that and tipping. Yeah. You know, pie in the corner off. Jeez, they're burning him alive? Wow. <laughs> just in case, all right? Fair enough. They could get back up. They're familiar in terms of the weapon and stuff like that. I got a front post, like something like an EOTech or something like that, or in that family of, they got a flip up magnifier kind of on the side there. Well, they're taking shoot, move, and communicate to the next level of video games anyway. Yeah, man. <laughs> he is flagging the hell out of them right there, but there's a lot of communication going on. And that's yeah. Cool. They're stopping, taking a tactical pause, and yeah. just talking through each maneuver before they move. Yeah. Pushing in, pushing in. One's going in the rear, I think. Disregard of pushing forward. Who says it's restricted? <laughs> Kill them! <laughs> Whoa, calm down. Not that intense, all right. Oh, transition oh. to the pistol. I like that. Interesting. Oh, advance and capture. Looks like they had to capture an objective. Interesting. Three enemy down, left side. Let's push sandbags. All right. Contact right. Send. You're down. Good effort. Grunt. Grunt. <laughs> I love the, the Brit just makes it that much more interesting. <laughs> he just sounds so much more intelligent with that accent. Good effort, go on. Uh, what's, a, what's an easy way to identify friendlies in this situation? Because I mean, it seems like they're just, they're just shooting anything that comes their way. I mean, is there right. no other friendlies in this scenario, do you think? You know, there's indicators that in your HUD where your guys are, but I think in Insurgency, you just have to keep a situational awareness. You know? Yeah, right. You know, Effing kill these. them! <laughs> The Libyans! Very, very realistic. People usually don't like you over there, so uh, I like the language, the harsh language. Yeah. I love the smoke. Oh, switching to the uh, night vision. So many open angles, man. <laughs> Suicide. <laughs> <laughs> 
It, it does move fast though, man. Yeah. It's even, hard to just even, keep up visually. Mm -hmm. Just like with real life, you learn to train that situational awareness and stuff like that, even with the tools that you got, the audio, to the point where you might get a certain brand of headphones that gives you more of a directional kind of sound rather than just left or right, it's like left forward or left behind you. It actually can make a big difference in see these first person shooters. Wow. Escape from Tarkov. So now we're gonna see a little bit of footage of people going in action, going out on a mission. This takes place in like a fictional failed state, Soviet failed state, Eastern Bloc kind of state. Gotcha. All right, guys, just moving up to this uh, military base. Oh, it's our British friend again. <laughs> yeah, same guys. Look, you got, what, an AK platform with that Warsaw Pact rail, got a red dot side up there. Uh, front, hill, yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, I'm getting shot at. <laughs> So he's just throwing rounds into the wood line. He doesn't right. know where shooting. Just to get their heads down, maybe. I want to go on a mission with this guy. He seems so confident. Yeah, he is. When you were on a team, you had your own SOP for communications, right? How yeah. specific did you get? I mean, we all know kind of general SOPs or general terms that we use when going out on a mission or for certain situations, going inside a house. Yeah, you want to be as specific as possible and maintain brevity so you're not on the radio at all times. You know what I mean? Like, people are communicating on the radio because they have to and it's pertinent information being passed, you know? So it's a little different here. Uh, it's a lot different here, actually. <laughs> uh, well, especially when it's one-to-one. -one. I, I think it would be a lot different if you had 12 guys. Yeah. Because in our scenario, when everybody's on the radio, you know, every time somebody has something, if, if someone was talking, you'd never get that information across. But if it's just a two-man mission, or maybe even three or four, a little bit different. Being a video game scenario, it ends up being kind of an asset, you know, that constant communication, because things change so quickly, like you say. Even with a Milsim game like this, like with Insurgency or Tarkov, the situation changes real quickly. Let's see if we can get in here. Oh, cool. Oh, no, no breach. <laughs> throw, a, throw a trip charge on there, why not? <laughs> Blow in the place you're gonna go take. <laughs> your strong point. Hey, I hear a little bit of the Russian accent. Yeah. It's becoming Italian again. <laughs> Man, it is challenging. <laughs> I'm trying to see through the bushes. Right. You get a little engrossed. I like the. Oh, this is crazy. I guess you get used to it. It's like it reminds me of dove hunting. The first time I went dove hunting, I couldn't find it. I couldn't see a dove anywhere until it was like right on me. So is what we're seeing on the screen? That's all the player is seeing when he's playing. He's not yeah. seeing anything else. Nope. This is it. This is what he sees. I like how the sun is setting, and this brings an element of realism, like, yep. it's real hard to see now. He's gonna have to flip on his MDGs in a bit. But, yep. I mean, this is total blackness. Three, two, one, boom. Yes. <laughs> Success. I'm so Survive. happy for him. Survive, that's what you want to see. <laughs> oh, he's got a Coke can on the end of that thing. Yeah. Keep it quiet. <laughs> There is that optic that's on the side there. That looks like, you know, not something I ever saw before I started doing these videos, but it's a flip up magnifier. You flip it to the side, you gotcha. flip it in place. Oh, I like he's got the, kind of, he's like canted up, kind of, so he doesn't flag his buddy. Oh, I love the low, uh, like the kind of crouching move. I, you don't really see that a lot. That's cool. Front. He's down, he's down, he's down. Push, 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 nice, push. Nice, nice coverage. I took a hit front, ceramic. Yeah, okay. Oh, behind you. Is something moving? Am I crazy? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'd be dead already. It's a little bit more updated from the last right. first person shooter game I played, which was 007 Goldeneye. <laughs> <laughs> Look, pine off the corner. I love that. Moving. Oh, it took out the light. That's oh. pretty cool. <laughs> so yeah, they really are paying attention to muzzle awareness here. It must ding you for flagging. Yeah. Which I, I love, I love that. Switching, 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 hold on. Now, have you heard about uh, working from the breach? Breach a door, you, it's open, you pie it off and you get in there. You right, know? right. Now I've heard more and more about, you know, like working from there before you go in and then you actually, you know. I mean, that know. makes sense if you have that opportunity. If you sitting outside the door is more of a danger, you know, a lot of times you want to get in the room. If that's, especially if that's your target room, maybe that's not the best idea if it's an ambush. I think it's situation dependent, but that makes sense. Roger, I'm reloading, reloading. You don't want to say that when you're already moving through a room. Because then they're like, oh, really? That's something, oh, okay. That's something you want to communicate before you start moving. <laughs> Push. Pushing. Actually, I can't break your muzzle. I can't that's your crazy. Yeah, I can't break the muzzle. So that's, that's interesting. Oh, interesting. It really restricts your movement. Yeah. So you don't flag people. That's pretty cool. That's not an aspect I've seen in any other game we've, we've seen. I was just complaining about that in the last game, about the amount of flagging. Gosh. I mean, I guess you see in muzzle flashes, but I cannot see that. <laughs> Listen, you're just gonna have to trust. I can't me. pick these guys up. Yeah, it's, it's impressive. Long side, long right. Enemy down. Oh, nice. Now I'm Back good. In, brother. I'm up. Back yeah. in, brother. 
Now, do you think this, this, this guy with the British accent, do you think he's a, a vet or active duty? He sure sounds like He's it. either that or he's a hardcore enthusiast. You know what okay. I mean? Yeah. Like he studied, he's- You're probably right, but it just sounds, <laughs> you know. It's the accent that really gives him a few That's extra true, points. that is so true. Watch friendly. I got him, I'm I got him. Watch friendly. Let him reload. <laughs> Don't go yet. He's so supportive, that's very unmilitary. <laughs> he said, okay, thank you. That's why you know that guy's not really in. Yeah. <laughs> Enemy left, low ground, 25 meters. You got that? Mate, that was excellent spotting. Yes, enemy down through the bushes. You get him? <laughs> okay, all right. Don't let it go to your head, Britt, all right? Yeah. Is he just giving himself a compliment? <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh my gosh. You can see the level design. You're really giving him a lot to have to communicate about. A lot of dead zones, a lot of open space. Yeah. Engaging front, my side. Oh, I love the shadow work. Uh, you can see him before he... That's yeah. cool. Good. All good, all good. It's so much more complicated that in reality, I will say. Transit, you gotta move your rifle out of the way, you gotta pull your pistol. <laughs> right. You gotta do your work, and then if like, if there's a bigger problem there than a short range pistol shot, you're screwed. Yeah. Because yep. then you gotta put that back. I mean, it's not, it's, you not can be, as, it's not as quick as you'd like it to be. Right, you can get quick, just not that quick. Yeah, it's an emergency situation. I mean, we don't transition to our secondary Unless we absolutely have to, as unsexy as it sounds, you don't really, <laughs> no. you don't really pull your fist that much. Yeah, you want to come back home alive, not, yeah. <laughs> the exhale is just really, really <laughs> It's a stressful situation. <laughs> this is gonna suck climbing down these steps. It's virtual steps. <laughs> right, nade out, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, I Drop love the, aim, the aiming arm there we go. on the grenade throw. Okay, push, 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 push. Pushing, pushing. Push, 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 push. I can't even say it that fast. Push, 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 push. Push, 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 push. It's very impressive. You must say it a lot. Oh yeah, they're in the hole. <laughs> Definitely a Middle Eastern toilet. Oh, contact stairs, contact oh. stairs. High, high, high. Is that above? Is that above? Yeah, shoot him in the foot. <laughs> Boom, Dunzo. Impressive. I thought that was pretty tactical. <laughs> nice. All right, well. Nate, what did you think about the footage we saw from Insurgency, Ground Branch, and Escape from Target? I thought it was pretty awesome. The Ground Branch one really stuck out to me. We hadn't seen that game yet yeah. from some of the stuff we watched, but I just like this uh, specificity of safety tactics, honestly. Like, I yeah. thought that was really neat. He's running around with the high ready, wanted to make sure that his battle buddy was never crossing his barrel. I don't know how the game manages that, but if there's a way that they're penalized in, in some manner, that's pretty cool. There's definitely a place for this out in the gaming community for people that want to, yeah, get that kind of experience. You know, what it might actually be like to move through a room with your buddies and stuff like that. Obviously, sans the physical requirements that might be necessary, carrying all the equipment and the armor and stuff. But if, if anything, give just a small window into kind of the military mission kind of mindset or something like that. Yeah, attention to detail is something that we have to focus on in training. And obviously, this is a video game. It's different. But the more attention to detail that is required to complete the mission successfully, I think makes it that much more authentic. Folks, if you want to see more videos like this, go over to Gameology's Facebook and YouTube page. If you want to hang out with me a little bit more, go over to twitch.tv slash myhappyself. Nate, where can people find you online? At NateBoyer37 on your social medias and uh, wherever I may be in the world, if you're right. Keep an eye out for Nate Boyer, folks. This kid's going places. He's not a kid, he's 40. <laughs> This kid too, actually. We'll see you on the next one, folks. That's, that's it. Where, that's where you that's find me. Get out of here. What are you doing? What are you still doing here? Jeez, the, the new promos for the next video are coming up. Go, say, go. Just watch the next one. Actually, I think you're only three months younger than me. Or three months old. Uh, yeah, I think I'm only three months older than you. There's no way you're three months older than me.